when we talk about funerals, we often talk about who's involved. Some people say, oh, the funeral's not for the dead person, it's for the living. And that's true for a point, that it is for the living, but it's also for the dead. And I would argue that there are actually three groups of people involved in a funeral. The living, the village of the living, I would say, the person who has just died, and the village of the ancestors, everyone else who has died before them. And there's an understanding that a funeral is a ritual that happens on both sides of the river at the same time, in the village of the living and in the village of the ancestors. And it's the moment where we as the living push the canoe of the person who's died, the sacred vessel that carries them. We push it across the river. It's carried out and the ancestors reach out with their joy and they pull it the rest of the way home. And so it's a, in a way, a funeral is a sorting ritual that when we die, when we're alive, we're on this side of the river. And when we die, the right place for us to be is on the other side of the river with the village of the ancestors. And the funeral is what conveys us across. And what the living do is not only push, but they let go. And that's the key moment at the funeral. And when we let go, that allows the person who's died to really leave. Right? We begin life anew here, they begin life anew there as they move, and then the ancestors welcome them, and whatever happens there, happens there. But it's important that, that all three of those groups are involved in planning a funeral because all three of them are impacted by it.